this is where the bees were clustered. And I went inside and looked with the thermal camera. And it looks like they're right in the top of the wall right here. So it looks like there's a seam. I think it's over here somewhere. So, you know, hopefully I don't, we don't have to cut or open up a big sheet. Hopefully this goes, uh, you know, textbook and we can cage the queen and uh, hopefully the girls will orient and they, you know, they should. Of course, we get the queen because they just got here. And hopefully they're nice. So here we go. Nails in there pretty good. Once they pop, they pop, huh? Can you that, Ricky? You see where they are, folks? Look like they just kind of slipping in over that way. I guess between this panel and, and uh, the stud underneath the top plate, whatever. All right, let's get this off now. Hopefully they stay nice. I mean, they just moved in. They should be, they should be fairly gentle. Not using the smoke at this point or anything, so hopefully they're nice. <laughs> it's like another piece of plywood behind it. What the heck? That's weird. Looks like a 2 by 10 up there or something, folks. I guess the top plate's going to be like a 2 by 12 <laughs> wow. All righty. Here we go, folks. This is the neighbor. What's your name, man? Peggy. That's Miss Peggy. Yes. Peggy Sue? Peggy Sue got That's married? My always <laughs> All right, Miss Peggy, we're going to open up this wall now. It's in better shape than you think. I felt like I cut all the way through. All right, maybe I didn't. You feel like handing me that multi tool, Ricky? Ricky's my helper today. Go ahead. He's from Raceland. How long, how long have you been here in, this is River Ridge? Yeah, I've been in River Ridge 45 years at this point. Okay. So, was a, yeah. yeah. And Ricky yeah. just, you just, yeah. No, I moved here when I was five, so yeah. it's been about 45 yeah. years. Uh -huh. And you just started fooling with these when? Uh, this, this past year. This past uh, year, yeah. all right. I inherited two. Good deal. I collected my first form last well, week. Is now. <laughs> all right, here we go, folks. <clears throat> Gotta make another little cut there. It should pop off. All right, take that over there. Okay. Y'all ready to see the bees? Check them out. Hopefully they can't get over that way. Hoping. So what we'll do, Ricky, we'll just we'll pull this off and just kind of gently shake them on top of the, the box. Show you the box, folks. Ricky has frames with some old drawing comb. Not the prettiest, but it'll work. It's enough to keep their attention. There they are. Okay. And they, they built that overnight, folks. See? How they do that? Like I said, I'm hoping they don't go that way because then we got to open more stuff up. Hopefully that's it. Right. I was about to ask you, they, they, did they come that quick? Yep. <laughs> Let's go ahead and shake it right on top. You have some that go airborne and <clears throat> a lot of them are going to be checking out the, the box you know they're going to be like oh man we, we smell something familiar it's all good <laughs> all right let's go ahead and take this off so last week my son called me that was one in his front yard in his tree look at that ricky on the ladder smoked them and just dumped them in a box and brought them to my house really look at that ricky see oh, that's wow. good they're continuing down and not wow. right over yeah. All right. See, nice little swarm. 
Ricky sent me some pictures and uh, we really didn't know, you know how big the swarm is. Sometimes they, it's bigger and sometimes it's smaller than when you uh, show up. That's when so many people are scared of them. In fact, the lady across the street from my son came out. And we're going to do this. Kill him. All right, we're going to do the same, excuse me, we're going to do the same thing with these. Wow. We're going to just shake these on top. So let's see, we, uh, we need to do something. Just we'll throw that away. Uh, we need to transport these bees to the box. So you got a little cardboard box or something? Grab something like that. Uh, we just want to get some numbers. And you know the main thing, <clears throat> we we really you know we're trying to find a queen is really what we're trying to do. And uh, I mean we, we want to transfer them to the box, but we need to get the queen over there. So we're not using a bee vac. So uh, we uh, get to get our numbers out of the way. So it greatly improves our chances of, of seeing her. Could fit more in there. what we'll do we're going to use that other box let's just put this over here for now i'm not going to shake them or anything just put them like right here for now if they're content you know what i mean as long as they're not flying back up because that way we can look through uh what we got up here She's, you know, she's probably going to be up here by this comb. You know, she's made it. She, she's probably laying already. See what they did overnight, folks. Just shake them down in there. I didn't look at every cell, but I don't see any eggs, so maybe she hadn't put laying yet. All right. She's going to be at the top there, folks. There's a bunch of them up there. They might be trying to give us the slip. Ah, crap. I think they can get on the other side of that too, Buffalo. Oh well, looks like we may be opening something else up. <laughs> oh well, folks. It is what it is, I guess. Just go ahead and put that over there for now, Rick. You can just put it wherever. Oh. There's the majority of the bees actually over there. Look at that, folks. Look at that. Still got a pile of bees up there. A lot of these are probably the ones that we had in the boxes, I bet you. But look, look at this big old cluster here. Let's see if we can get lucky and, and get the queen. That, that way, we don't have to mess with all this. They'll go in, into the hive set up on their own. All right. Let's do this shit. Yesterday, he was really quiet. Yeah, talking to me. Yeah. Before we had honeybees, we had carpenter bees, bumblebees. You know, honeybees aren't indigenous to North America. I don't know if you knew that. But, yeah, they were brought over in the 1620s. Early settlers.
the spotted eye queen, folks. I got her. Whew. Thank goodness. There she is. There she is, folks. She was just up there amongst the bees so we got her uh oh almost lost her <laughs> let's go ahead and cage her <laughs> oh naughty there you go get in there no 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 okay all right we got her folks got that big girl italian looking queen There she is. Good deal. Whoa. Might have a march on the queen cage, folks. Yeah, look at him, honey. Yeah. Check this out. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right, let's get her. Let's get her over here. All right. We're gonna put it towards them, kind of in the middle a little bit. Let's see here. Yeah. This, this, we'll put her on this one right here, I think. And <clears throat> on those little pockets. Remember, you're gonna go in here in about two, three days, and you're gonna release them. Okay. Okay, that long. Yeah. Let them really establish themselves. Yeah. Like yeah. Yeah, because you know you don't want them to leave on you, right? <laughs> Hold that. So I just, just, just hold it like that. Lucked out with that other one that I just dumped them all in the box and. Yeah, you lucked out because that cluster it was the only outside. You know, a lot of times when you see that, yeah, she could be out there. Well, I was like I said, I, I was able to visualize putting her in the bottom box. That I just dumped them all in there and. All right, we'll just go ahead and put her in. All right, so let's get that other frame. Put that other frame back. It should be easy to find the only one with the rubber band, but they may chew that, so, but she's right in the middle, so. All right, so this Now, uh, I let's. Do, I do have this, two of the, like the under lids at home. Yeah, the inner cover. So let's do this. I'm gonna fill these boxes up with bees. Okay. And this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna shake them in. And put the lid on and then we're gonna put the lid on and then we'll let the other ones figure it out you know what i mean so it's all downhill from here unless you got another queen <laughs> all right let's all right let me just let me shake these so we can run them down and you can put the lid on okay so we're going to want to do this kind of quick because it's hot and we want because we want to put that lid on you know i'm gonna tell you what ricky I will leave that box there because there's a chance you could come back tonight and they're not all there. You you may still find some. Now, if you come back tonight and you don't see a bee here and you know they're they're in the box, you can take it. But you know you may have to leave it there a day or two, which is not going to hurt anything, you know. Yeah, I'm up around six. I figured they were still active tonight and come up early in the morning before they get active. All right, folks. We uh, I got the, the honeybee going repellent, and we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna spray a little bit next to the bees, just to quicken things a little bit. Cause uh, you know they, they seem very content. They don't realize that the queen is in the box. So we're gonna just give them a little push. We want to get them airborne and go into our setup, which is right there. We got bees all over the place right now, and that's what we want. We want them. We want them airborne, so that the bees at our box can draw them in okay let's see if we got any bees putting out uh orientating the pheromone yet not really seeing any uh orientating yet but I'll, I'll show you that in a minute it's gonna happen we are going over to the box but i still i'm not seeing a lot of orienting so i would show you that but uh queens in there and there are bees in the box so, um, yeah, this, this is going to work out. I'm going to 
tomato and tomato lure with the butter and sugar. She's got it. And the reason they do that, these are over here. And the reason they do that is they're basically mm -hmm. calling in their sister. You know, they say, hey, this is this is the spot. This is where uh, we want to be. So get it? Want to be? All right. They sure like bunching up. They were bunching up up there. They like to bunch up over here. They like right corners. <laughs> Let me show you what it looks like over here. Now, see how they moved over? And they were filling up this area, but I sprayed repellent. So they're gonna get they're gonna get the memo, and slowly but surely, you can see them kind of airborne a little bit. And as as they fly around, and more of their sisters put out pheromone, orientating pheromone, they they should start going in the box. Now, if I had to guess, in the next hour or so, probably the vast majority are going to be on or in this box. What do you think of this, Rick? Experience of a lifetime. Fun, huh? Like, like a wild kingdom, huh? <laughs> wild kingdom right in your backyard. I've had a bear come in my camp in Alaska. Oh, yeah? I stood in a cloud of bees. Big brown bear? Or? Yeah. But this is... Come in your camp? Yeah. Like... Inside of a building or a tent or? Uh, I was hanging in a hammock. Oh so lord. Pull the bear spray out of that hammock. Yeah. They, once they hear your voice, they don't want anything to do with it. Yeah. And we're the only thing that they know that other than bears and humans. Yeah. Like that's the things that can hurt them. Yeah, I had I had a couple of black bears next to my tree in the woods years ago, and one of them was chewing on my my rope. Go away now. Go ahead, Mr. Bear. Good boy. And when it hurt my voice, it startled it, you know, and it ran, stopped about 20 yards away, looked back, you know. Right. This particular setup has a pretty narrow entrance. So if I think the entrance was bigger and wider and deeper, uh, we wouldn't have the amount of bees piled up like this, but they will wind up going in eventually. But uh, yeah, the way it's set up is uh, the entrance is really only about maybe five inches across, and it's maybe a third of what the opening is top to bottom normally. So um, yeah. But they'll work it out. It's just hot right now. They're kind of clumped up. But slowly but surely, they'll, they'll go in there and, and uh, make a go at it. All right, I'm back over here with Ricky. Hi, guys. At Ricky's place. And we're going to inspect the uh, swarm that uh, we removed the other day that's now a colony. And they're, they're coming and going, bringing in pollen. Just want to give you all an update on what's going on, okay? You don't really need these right now. These are for beetles, huh? Yeah. yeah. I don't see a beetle in here. Yep, we got eggs. She's laying up here. And there's not a lot of eggs on this one, but they're all eggs. I'm seeing them in several cells. Right. Okay. Put a little honey up here. Working fast. We're on the tallow flow though. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and move 
this box. So I say we'll pull that next frame. She could be up here, who knows? Quick check just to see if she's up there. And there's eggs up here. And she's definitely laying up here. See if I can show you up there. There we go. So when you got black foundation, it really, the eggs really pop, but. I think you might be getting some of this. Anyway. These look like they're, they're doing well. We'll go ahead and take this box off in just a second. Yeah. Yeah, well, my wife's been stung before and had a reaction, and then a week later she got stung and didn't have a reaction. So that's what it was. You have a, you have an EpiPen you keep with you? I mean, I know it's by prescription, but yeah, normally you need two. Yeah, normally you get you get you get two of them. So uh, see how I stacked that one on, the, on its side? So when you go to put it back, you want to smoke these, run them down, and then you want to get these to run back up so that when you put this box on, you know, you're not squishing any bees on the bottom of the box, okay? Just run them up. All right. See, see how they do that? They run right up. Okay. <laughs> they really reacted to the smoke, so might have to give them a minute or maybe run them back down <laughs> with the smoke. Let's say reacted so well uh, <laughs> in the first place. Yeah, we'll just puff them a little bit. Not something I would set up like normally, but. We all want a good nectar flow, so uh, hopefully they'll, you know, draw everything out uh, properly. But um, you know, normally I'd set them up in a in a, a deep. And, uh, and set up like this, let them draw out eight or ten frames, and then add another box. So I tell Ricky, if uh, they draw a good many of the frames in the medium high box, he could always switch the medium with the deep. And then when you fill it, the deep up, you can always switch back. It's, uh, it just makes sense if you're going to use a deep with smaller boxes to have the deep, which is the larger box on the bottom. So Ricky and I, we talked about these inner covers, and they're just not made correctly. They're not big enough to cover from one corner to the other. Then those shims, those those little one buys, whatever they are, in theory what they do, they create a space between the telescoping cover and the inner cover. The problem is the bees will build comb in that space. I told him I would 86 uh, these inner covers and start anew, and in no time he knocked out some that will work fine. All right, let's put them... Put them to bed. Well, removing the bees out of the shed wall and getting them into Ricky's hive was a pleasurable experience, folks. The follow-up inspection uh, we performed about maybe a week later, I want to say. The bees seem to be doing well. They're nice and gentle. The queen's laying all that good stuff. So, hope you all enjoyed the update. All right, well, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Now we're from JP to Bee Man and Ricky. Hope you all having a fantastic day because you know we are. To the next one. Good luck.